It's all about eyeshadow on this next video. And I'm so excited to share with you a really, really pretty, easy, everyday eye look. Now, you can get as fun and fancy as you want with eyeshadow. Don't forget that everything is completely customizable. So as you can see, this is my big giant artist palette and I've taken little colors out here and there to put in my smaller, more everyday palettes for just daily use or if I go on a trip or something, I'll open up my big artist palette and I'll grab some of, of my favorite colors out of here. But there are so many colors to choose from and we can definitely help you pick out some really, really pretty colors that you'll love. Today, let's just do a quick and easy basic everyday eyeshadow look. So I'm gonna grab my mini double decker compact. This is what most people start with. This is the one that's free with like 10 colors. Okay, so let's say you have your face colors on the top and then on the bottom you can have a couple of eyeshadows, maybe a lip conditioner, a bronzer, and kind of like your fun little extras. So the first thing I like to do with eyeshadow is I like to use this color right here. It's called Tangled, and as you can see, mine is definitely well-loved once again. I use this makeup every single day, um, and I truly do love it. So I'm gonna take my fingertip, okay, and I got a little bit of that Tangled color, and I'm gonna get nice and close so you guys can see. And I'm gonna use this cream eyeshadow, and it's got a bit of a sheen to it, and I'm just gonna sort of dab it with my fingertip right here on my eyelids. Now what this is gonna do, you could totally walk out the house like this. I mean, it's beautiful. It just sort of gave an extra brightness and sheen and kind of opened up my eye. Um, and I actually just love it plain, but we're not gonna stop there, okay? So what this is gonna do for you is it's going to give your eyeshadow look something to stick to. Because what happens is when we put a dry eyeshadow product on like in this case a dry eyelid, a lot of the product's just gonna fall and make a big mess. So you wanna give your eyeshadow something to grab onto, something to stick to. It'll help it crease a lot less and it'll also help it look a lot prettier um, and it'll help the color pop a little bit better. Another trick that I love to share is I love to use some of this vanilla dust setting powder. Okay, so this is a setting powder that's really created to set your face makeup, um, but I love to have it do double duty. A lot of our products do amazing double duty. Okay, and I'm gonna take a really generous application of this vanilla dust setting powder and I'm not gonna swish it around much. I'm really just gonna dab this product over top of that tangled color, okay? So what this is gonna do is it's gonna provide kind of like a little buffer zone, like a little barrier, so that once I start layering on other colors, especially on days maybe you're feeling really festive and it's St. Patrick's Day and you wanna have green, or maybe it's Valentine's Day and you want a beautiful pink eye, or maybe just for fun you wanna wear purple that day, this is gonna really help all those colors, whether it's something fun and wild or even just our everyday earthy browns like we're gonna to do today, it's gonna to help those colors blend in really, really nicely because it's not getting stuck right on that tangled shade, which we just put down. Instead, it's going over top of that powder and we're gonna be able to manipulate and blend it around really easily. Okay, next we're gonna do what we call our transition shade. Now, as you can see, I'm running low on my transition shade, but a transition shade is basically any color that's like a medium, earthy tone. So my favorite transition shade is this color called Bubba. And it's just kind of like a medium to light brown. And all I'm gonna do with this Bubba color is I'm gonna start it in my crease and I'm gonna work it in towards the inner corner of my eye. And then I'm also gonna run this eyeshadow beneath the eye. So a lot of people don't think to put eyeshadow beneath their eye. And this is one of the biggest mistakes people make when they're doing their eyeshadow. They fail to bring the colors that they're using down beneath the eye. And what's so beautiful about bringing this color down to your lower lash line is it just helps your eye even open up that much more. And um, it helps bring extra dimension and definition to your eye area. And it's really, really feathery and soft 
So as you can see, I'm kind of switching between the two different sides of this beautiful eyeshadow everything brush. This brush is like $18. It's a beautiful brush. I can pretty much do every look um, under the sun with just this one brush. So I highly, highly, highly recommend picking up one of these. So after we get our transition shade on our lid and well into our crease, now we're ready to start layering some other fun colors. Today, I'm gonna use this sort of medium toned, dusty mauve for my eyelid, okay? And all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dab this on top of my eyelid, just like this. And then I'm gonna bring it up into the crease as well. Now you can kind of see that transition shade. It's sort of wanting to peek through just a little bit. And it's really helping that dusty mauve color blend in a really, really pretty subtle way. Instead of just looking like all of a sudden I have this purple on my eye. Instead, it just like looks like a really, really subtle, pretty color. Okay, don't forget again, run that color beneath the eye. All right, and then our final shade is gonna be this color right here. This is called Philly. It's one of our best-selling browns. A um, couple other really, really beautiful browns are Oak and Trust and even Basic. Basic is a little bit lighter, but this is a really, really beautiful color. And I'm gonna use the small end of my brush just like this. And we're gonna start, like I said before, on the outside and move it towards the inner corner. And then we're gonna go also beneath the eye with our dark shade. Now what this is doing is it's giving our eye so much extra depth. It's making our eye really look a lot bigger. And then when you take this dark color and you just run it along your lash line down here, those eyelashes are kind of grabbing onto that pigment and it's just making a really, really pretty natural looking feathery eye look. Isn't that amazing how easy that is? Another really fun tip that I like to share is on days that you're planning on wearing eyeshadow, guys, try doing your eyeshadow first and then come back and do the rest of your makeup later. And the reason for that is sometimes our eyeshadow can make a big mess um, on our cheeks and beneath our eyes. And I didn't make too much of a mess today, but let's say that I did. All I would do is I would just turn my little page on my book, right? Let's say it was down here working on my eyeshadows. Just turn the little page back on my book, grab my foundation brush and a little bit of this brightening shade again and just kind of wipe away any dustiness or anything that might have fallen beneath the eye. And voila, we are ready with a beautiful, easy, everyday eye look. 